Hello everyone, my name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In today's brief video, I'm going to be reviewing the medication allopurinol. We're going to take a look at what it is, what it is used for. We will look at some common side effects as well as some few counseling tips and precautions that you should be aware of if you're taking allopurinol. And by the way, this review is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice from your physician. So please, please do continue taking your medications as prescribed unless your doctor tells you otherwise. So first of all, what is allopurinol? Well, allopurinol is a medication that is primarily used in the management of gout. It is also sometimes used to manage increased or elevated uric acid levels in people that are undergoing chemo. So sometimes when people are undergoing chemo, the, the uric acid levels become elevated and allopurinol may be employed to bring those levels down. It is also sometimes used to treat certain types of recurrent kidney stones. Now, allopurinol belongs to a class of medications called xanthine oxidase inhibitors. Uh, that means that it inhibits an enzyme called xanthine oxidase. And in so doing, it is able to bring down uric acid levels in the body. With respect to dosing, your doctor will typically probably start you on the lowest possible dose and you kind of work your way up as you need it. So typically you see people starting on 100 milligrams and working your way up. Some of the most common doses are maybe 200 milligrams a day or 300 milligrams a day. Although the literature says that it can be taken in as high a dose as 800 milligrams a day, but that is very rare. I personally have not seen in practice anybody taking 800 milligrams of allopurinol. You typically see 100 to 300 milligrams a day. It is also recommended and ideal to take after food because it has the tendency to irritate the gastrointestinal tract. So taking it after food minimizes some of these effects. Now, when you initially start taking allopurinol, there's a tendency for there to be some gout flare-ups. And this is quite normal. It just means that the medication is actually working. So in those instances, your doctor may prescribe something to kind of help you get through the first couple of weeks or months where you're experiencing those flare-ups. So sometimes you'll prescribe colchicin just for a couple of days to go with it to minimize the flare-ups. Uh, the flare-ups do not necessarily mean that you need to discontinue the allopurinol. It's just that it takes some time for your body to actually adjust to it. So uh, keep taking it, of course, unless it's very unbearable, in which case you may discuss with your doctor to see if there are any other alternatives that you can, can look at. Now, as good a medication as allopurinol is at reducing uric acid levels, like any other medication, it is not devoid of side effects. A lot of them are not bothersome. They tend to go away after the first couple of days or weeks and do not warrant any extra action from you. And these minor side effects include changes in taste, diarrhea, drowsiness, headache, nausea and vomiting, and stomach upset. These are quite common and they usually resolve after the first couple of days or weeks and they tend not to be bothersome. However, the next set of side effects are rare but if they do okay those are the ones that you probably need to be paying more attention to and probably calling your doctor and having a discussion with your doctor the first on that list that i want to talk about is if you develop any kind of rash while you're taking allopurinol so allopurinol has been associated with uh, a rare but potentially dangerous condition called stevens johnson syndrome and therefore if you notice any rash after you start taking allopurinol that is one that you want to take seriously that is one that you want to start discussing uh, with a doctor to see what the next uh, move should be also if you notice any breathing problems any joint pain muscle pain any redness or blistering or peeling of the skin or sometimes even inside the mouth any signs and symptoms of an infection sometimes people may experience fever or chills or even sometimes a sore throat or signs of symptoms of kidney injury like if you have trouble passing urine and and even there's even any change in the amount of urine if the urine becomes dark or if there's any unusual bleeding or bruising these are very rare side effects like i said but these are the ones that you want to pay more uh, close attention to these are the ones that you want to be discussing with your doctor if you experience any of this while taking allopurinol now some few minor counseling tips that you may want to pay attention to number one is keep hydrated while you take allopurinol this helps prevent or reduce the risk of developing kidney stones and like i mentioned earlier also taking after food it's generally recommended and it's, uh, it's better than taking it on an empty stomach because for some people, it tends to irritate the stomach or the gastrointestinal tract. Thank you so much for staying through. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, please do well to do so and give this video a thumbs up if it has benefited you in any way. Thank you. I'll catch you on the next video.